It's kind of, I know we don't like to compare, but the differences that you've seen from the offense last year and kind of the juice that he brings to the offense. Uh, I think he's bringing a lot of great energy to the offense. Like you said, um, the offense is more or less always going to be the same base and foundation, and he's just going to throw in um, a little bit of his own spice to it. Nick Kelly, you're next. John, uh, how have you seen uh, Treshawn Holden take the next step kind of in his second year? How have you seen him grow? Um, he's definitely grown tremendously um, with the playbook wise, being comfortable out there, um, just seeing him get comfortable and playing his game. Michael Casagrande, go ahead. Yeah, Evan, about this, but the, what about those soft shell helmets you guys are wearing in practice now? What, what have you noticed with that? What are your thoughts on them? I'm sure that they're there for um, every player's best interest. I'm, I don't have one on, but for the guys that do have one on, um, it's definitely for um, the best interest of our team. Steven, go ahead. John, you spoke on this at, uh, at media days, but you being a leader of this room, Slade Bowden also, where have you seen Slade take his most growth at receiver? I think it's taken his most growth, kind of just um, being one of the older guys on in the group, helping um, lead and teach um, all the new and younger guys we have and helping them come along. Tony, go ahead. Yeah, John, uh, Pete Golding talked about Kool-Aid's uh, physicality at the line. I just wondered if you've gone against him. And uh, does that kind of take you by surprise, having a young guy willing to be kind of so physical right off the bat? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Um, he definitely is very physical at the line. I haven't gone against him too much. I've definitely watched him um, practice and play. And it's exciting. It's exciting to see that we have a lot of talented young guys that um, will get the chance and are capable of stepping up. Mike Rodak, go ahead. John, I think today is the first day that the Canadian border is back open. I know, I think you mentioned that in the past, just obviously it's difficult for a Canadian citizen, you know, being in the U.S. Does it make it easier now? And obviously you're in fall camps. It's not like you can travel, but can your family travel here? Or is there anything easier now? Actually, I actually hadn't heard heard about that, but yeah, it should it should make it easier for my uh, my family to come come out and come to games and get down here. Um, like you said, where I'm in camp and my schedule is pretty tight, so I don't think I'll be heading home anytime soon. Michael Casagrande, go ahead. Yeah, do you do box jumps like Evan Neal does? Yeah, yeah, I do box jumps like Evan Neal does. It probably looks uh, more spectacular when he does it because of the the size and weight that he's moving at. What's your best height that you've got? I, I have no clue. We have to ask um, Dr. Rea. Ryan Hennessy, go ahead. And hey John, uh, one of your quarterbacks, Bryce Young, when we talked to two at his charity event, he said one of the things that would surprise us is his speed. Um, what have you noticed about his speed and how does that help you as a receiver to buy more time in the pocket? Have you noticed kind of that speed in preseason? Yeah, and Bryce. Um, has a good ability to extend plays with his feet, and it definitely helps receivers um, get open and make more dynamic plays. Steven, go ahead. John, Coach Saban said that uh, Trey Sanders is close to well, uh, close to 100%. I mean, how cool is it to root for a guy that's been through so much but is still pushing to get back out there? Extremely, extremely. Um, Seeing what Trey's been through and knowing him and how hard he works every day, it's exciting to see him out there um, getting back and um, exciting to play with him again. All right. Any more questions for John? Go ahead and raise your hands if you guys have any more questions. All right. Thank you, John. B-Rob will be in here momentarily.